How to rob the power plant in Roblox Jailbreak. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another amazing video here on Cinema Roblox. Roblox Jailbreak is a lot of fun. You can literally rob every building in the game that is operational. In a previous video, we looked at how you can rob the jewelry store in Jailbreak. That video was a thrilling one. In this video, we're going to do something more extreme. We'll be raiding and looting the power plant in the game. In the real world, this could be an act of terrorism, but hey, you can have some fun in games like Jailbreak. So, let's run in and look at how to rob the power plant in the game. Stay tuned and watch right till the end because you don't want to miss the small details. Also, before we begin with today's video, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and also turn on the bell for the latest notifications and updates. Make sure you never miss another video. With that said, let's jump into today's video. How to rob the power plant in Jailbreak the power plant is one of the jailbreak's highest venue. It was first introduced as hollow structure known as the factory in the map expansions update, but was subsequently rebuilt and turned into a robbery site in the jet ski and power plant robbery update in June 2019. The power plant has a reputation for being one of the jailbreak's more fast-paced and exciting highs. The robbery is multi-stage, forcing criminals to mingle with the public, similar to a museum or jewelry store. It is not a robbery where players merely stand in one location to collect cash, an example of such being the bank and cargo train. Until the power plant revamp update, when the Challenger took its place, the Camaro used to spawn at the power plant. The DeLorean now spawns at these locations, replacing the Challenger, and the Challenger now spawns in its former spot near the town gun shop as of the 2020 winter update. Entering Criminals no longer need to scale a ladder to get inside as they did before. Instead, they head to the entryway where a damaged power box can be observed. After that, they'll be confronted with a pop-up GUI flow challenge on the screen. They must pull the colors together in such a manner that no color cuts off the trail of the others, a type of flow pattern. Because each problem is randomized, no two puzzles are ever be the same. Therefore, some may be more difficult than the others. Numbers have been added to the ship's update to assist colorblind persons in robbing the power plant. Numbers will also appear to assist in the matchmaking of colors to other hues. Obstacle 1. Obtaining Uranium When the riddle is finished, a door will open for a few seconds, allowing the thief to gain access to the building. They'll travel underground after they're inside, where there are a few lasers that the players must avoid. The player must leap onto the platform whenever they reach a location with what looks to be a computer. If the player continues onward, they will run into a laser wall, which will reduce their health by 25%. To collect the uranium, the players must solve an even larger and more difficult flow puzzle. When a player completes the problem, they are given a rod of uranium, which loses value at the rate of $50 in cash every second as time passes. Obstacle 2. Exiting Rather than instantly exiting, a second parkour course is required. There is a pit beneath the player, and if they fall into it, they will perish. Two hydraulic presses will smash the material to the ground. To get to the conveyor belt, the player must first avoid the first piston. If a player is crushed by the piston, 50% of their health is taken away and their body is squashed. After that, go to the next conveyor belt where there will be a large electrical beam that players must avoid leaping over in order to prevent losing health. Another piston will appear in front of them, which the player will have to avoid. It was necessary to avoid a gap between the conveyor belt divides. After completing the parkour, players can depart the building by jumping over the final laser. Delivery When a player completes the parkour and exits the building, they must immediately proceed to the volcano criminal base and present the uranium to a collector. An experienced thief can profit from this crime for $5,800 to $6,000 if it is completed in a timely manner. Cash $1,000 should be added to a criminal's bounty if they perform the crime. However, if the uranium's value falls to zero, it will vanish, indicating that the heist was not completed and no bounty will be added. That's all for today's video. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.